How's it going? I'm Coach Vince Salvador from the arena. And I'm Coach Charles Martinez, and we're here to discuss some options for the clinch, different than what you may have seen before. So we'll start here. So a lot of times in the clinch, uh, the basic rule for the clinch is to have my hips close to his hips. People say cup to cup or belt to belt. If I'm out here in a clinch, I'm going to get kneed all day. It's easy to snap my head down. If this is MMA. Uh, if I see my feet in the clinch, I'm, I'm probably going to see a knee in my face as well. So I need to bring my hips in and I need to trap the inside of his biceps. And when I do that, it prevents him from being able to grab me. It, it prevents him from hitting me, punching me, throwing elbows. Also, if he tries to throw a knee, I have a steering wheel. So the steering wheel is, is, is what I'm going to use to open up the space for me to land my shots. So if I'm, to the, if I'm controlling the bicep here and I want to make some space, I'm going to use my inner thigh and my steering wheel to open up one side. So if you come around to this side, you can see it on this side. So we're hip to hip. I have no space. I cannot knee from here, so I need to make some space. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get his weight to this side so his, this leg is light. And when I, the way I do that is with this steering wheel. I can use this grip, this grip, either, either or. It's really a preference thing. I like this grip, and this is going to make it easy for me to bring his head down. So for me to do that, I distract him with a knee, and then I, his, his weight goes here. I pull. Now my inner thigh is going to meet the inner thigh of his inner thigh to open up his body. I've already opened up that side with my elbow lifting. Now my left knee just comes up and right back down. When I land that, I don't want to leave it there too long because he might grab it if it's MMA, I'm going on my back. So it's quick and down. If he does grab it, I can still kick my leg down, throw an elbow to, to attack on that same side. But as long as I have the bicep, I'll be strong here. All right, so oftentimes when you're, when you're taught this, everyone's taught to clinch the head right away. That means that you've gotten past all these other phases of pummeling and clinch. Right, so a lot of times here, this happens in the pummel. Right, he goes to swim his hands inside. If I reach for the head and I'm strong, he, it, he has a hard time breaking this off, but he swims his hands to the inside. He can use the bicep to start to clear that grip. Right, if he swims his hands to the inside, uh, to, the, to the collar tie, right, when I clear the bicep, I also use leverage in my body and I try and establish that inside control. And if you want to think about it from an MMA perspective versus a Muay Thai perspective, when I'm controlling the biceps, he reaches in, tries to grab an underhook. I, I'm already in contact, right? So if he tries to try and run his body that way, I'm able to start whizzering hard on that side and I'm already in contact versus being up here where it makes it easier for him to kind of bump and establish this, this good hard underhook that he's really looking for. So close head in, right? and then I'm able to start advancing to a better clinch from here to deliver the unbalances, knees, elbows, and I'm able to be attached to him to prevent these takedowns. That's your tip of the week. That was a good detailed tip. <laughs>